Good morning. Hello. Today we went to the Cairns Botanical Gardens. It was really beautiful actually. Probably the best botanic gardens we've been to. You wouldn't go. No. You wouldn't cope at all. We found this huge tree, palm fan type tree. I don't know, it was like a Jurassic Park type thing. It was really, really cool. And you can't even tell how huge it is. This is the underside. <laughs> now we've driven about an hour into the hinterland to see the giant cathedral fig tree. We've seen the curtain fig tree, which was really, really big. We're gonna go back there because last time it said that there are bioluminescent mushrooms in the nighttime. So we're gonna go try to find those. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're just seeing the cathedral fig tree now. Whoa. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Good morning. We just woke up at our campsite. We just ended up first. What are you? <laughs> You're goofy. Hilarious. I don't know, I think it's like in the national park there's a bunch of like camps on this lake we just ended up staying at one of the campsites last night it's really really beautiful but now we're headed to another one of the campsites to stay there and chill out for the day it's been really rainy but it's, it's kind of cozy and we're in the woods, it, I like it he's a dirty boy I think it was well worth it wow why is that always your inspiration? What, what more do you need? Come on. Look at it. <laughs> I'm like, you should talk more in the videos. And then uh, that's what he says. Wow. So far I know that we're going to these lava tubes. 
I think it's like where lava was at one point and the rock has like dissolved away so you can walk through the volcanic tubes maybe? Yeah. We'll get there. She likes it. He's just a jealous boy that this girl's giving me all the attention. <laughs> he sounds like an old man. She's like, what's going on? Chicken. Should we put him on the fire? <laughs> Don't. Don't you dare start making that noise. This is Emily's fire that she made. I did. I made it all by myself. Good job. We just got to the geothermal hot springs. Yeah, it's a little stinky. <laughs> but you can see the steam coming off the water. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Have you ever been to something like this? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. Hey, I'll, get, I'll get a nice one. Yeah. We just went to the hot springs and it was freaking amazing. It was so warm, so beautiful. So much fun. We were there for like two hours. We tried to get to the lava tubes and we ended up at this lodge. Apparently you have to pay $70 a person to get on this guided tour of these lava tubes that are in a national park. So we should be able to get to the lava tubes on our own because it's in a national park. So we're going to try to find a way to get there. Even though the lady said that the only way to the lava tubes is guided tours. But we'll figure it out. So we're already in the national park. It might just be a bit of a hike, but that's all right. We just went up this giant crater and it's really rainy so we couldn't really see much but it was so cool. Oh, we saw some kangaroos. The bush is really cool because it's all full of these like black rocks that I guess are like volcanic rocks and there's pretty flowers and it's nice but it's really cold. So we got a little lost but I think we found a lava tube. What do you think? Maybe. We, we might get lost again? Mm, yeah, we'll see. This is like what happens. Oh, so there's little caves through here. Nice. Here we are. Lava was here at one point. Hey? Crazy. You look like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we made it. We did it. We got to the lava tube. It's pretty cool. I've like never seen anything like this. This is like a natural bridge. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Here's another one. Wow. Underground railway tunnels on your tour guide for this evening and um, the local indigenous peoples 20,000 years ago this used to be their metro tunnel. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. So I call that a pretty successful lava tube. I call it game. a successful budget hack. Yeah, budget hack. <laughs> we love a bargain. Just get lost is what I say. Yeah, if you come to, what is the name of this? Andara Volcanic National Park. Yeah, my best advice for you is just to get lost and then maybe you'll find some lava tubes. And not spend 60 to 70 dollars on a, a guided tour through a cave. Exactly. Two thumbs up! This is the life.
Hi, baby. What's up? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. Cool. Cool. Archie just found some crocodiles by the river. You can't really tell that they're crocodiles. I'm blind. I can see the scales from here. Like you can see the, the sharpness of their tail, especially the one on the left. You want to go across? Uh, Do you want to get closer? You can. Come on, let's go get closer. There he goes, back into the water. So quiet. No splash. Oh, there's the splash. I've never seen one in the wild before. And I was pretty okay with that, to be honest, because they're pretty scary when you're near them. But they were all the way on the other side of the river, so it wasn't too bad. It was pretty cool. I didn't think we would get to see them because they're really good at hiding. She kept eating penne at Pechao e Pepe, which is cheese and pepper penne. So I made it and it looks really good and we're going to try it. Do you think it's going to be a 10 out of 10? We'll see. I'm waiting to get a 10 out of 10 from you. Let's, let's see. What is it out of 10? Come on. It, it's a 10, yeah. Is it 10? Yeah, totally. You sure? Uh-huh. That doesn't sound very convincing. Archie says it's actually not a 10. No, um, I said it was a 10, but it could be an 11. Oh, uh, yeah, right. He says, next time make fresh handmade pasta, age the cheese yourself, milk the cow yourself. <laughs> I have expensive taste, what can I say? <laughs> This place is just so beautiful, that's what's wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Wow, it's so beautiful. That's the biggest bird I ever seen. That's not real. Oh. Last night we camped here at Fountain Springs. There's a natural spring coming from the ground over here and it just bubbles up water and it fills up this hole in the, in the wet season that you can like swim in it. Right now it looks pretty stagnant and gross, so we're probably not gonna swim. So this is Fountain Springs and it's very beautiful and I'm really happy to be here, but it's very cold. <laughs> That's enough. There's so many. Wow, you're beautiful. Have you ever dined with peacocks before? Not of the bird variety. Hey, pretty lady. A wee man. I'm allowed to feed whoever I want. I'm bigger than you. We're trying the McDonald's Australiana coffee. It's supposed to be coffee, chai, and wattle seed. What the heck? <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, I don't like yours. I like this better. Yours is very milky. It kind of just kills the chai taste with a, like a strange aftertaste that isn't exactly coffee and isn't exactly chai. I don't know. Like I really can't taste coffee. I can taste the coffee and I can taste a little bit of chai. It's weird. 7 out of 10. We found an ancient artifact. Did you know that they had the opportunity to buy Netflix but they declined because they thought that people wanted the experience of going to this location to pick up movies? I certainly bet they're kicking themselves now. Yep. We just had our first hot shower in ages. I think this is Archie's third hot shower of our entire journey. I was lucky and I got one minute timed hot shower in Cairns so 
that was good but that was like two weeks ago for me it was really really lovely to have a hot shower finally makes you feel like a whole new person yeah i just feel like i just shed so many layers of the old version of myself and i'm clean mean and ready to go see the devil's marbles let's do it let's do it let's grab the devil by his marbles and go chili mac and cheese Mm. We're having a beautiful campfire and we're boiling some water. We're gonna have some hot chocolate. We're roasting some marshmallows, making some s'mores. I'm basically a professional marshmallow roaster. That's hard to say. Professional marshmallow. Prof professional marshmallow roaster. You try to say that. Professional marshmallow. Professional marshmallow roaster. Professional marshmallow toaster. Say it fast. Professional marshmallow. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a professional. Watch. Are you gonna roast a marshmallow? No. Oi, mate! Don't stick your hand in the fire. It's hot. Mm. Oh, I didn't know. The secret to roasting a marshmallow: pay close attention, don't get too close to the fire, and then slow and steady wins the race. I should stay on the hook. Okay, good. Good on you, mate. Look how good Archie did with the setup. He like built all this out of sticks so that we could boil our water. Isn't that so great? He's so handy. Oh, the fire almost burned my face off. Don't you dare ruin my marshmallow. Ruin your marshmallow, did you say? Don't ruin it. Ruin it. No, I will cry. It's looking really, really good. My marshmallow? Yeah. I think it's ready. Look at that. Can you tell how beautiful that is? It's so perfect. So that only took like three minutes. So because Australia is weird, they don't have graham crackers here. I will just use this chocolate cookie. And look at that. Oh yeah, so gooey. You want to get the footage of me dying? No. Yeah. We're here at, what was the name of the cave, Archie? Oh, I don't know. Kalulu and something like that. Caves. Oh, great. Norani now great Norani caves the great Norani cave in the camel wheel system <laughs> this is a good video i don't know cave this is National like a Park. sinkhole well, it's and it, a sinkhole. it was a sinkhole it sunk into this opening i don't know i don't really know where i am this is a great big cave it's a cave that meets up with another cave underground in a water system. You probably shouldn't go no, in there. No, there's bats in there. Yeah, that's... And if you know anything about bats, that's where you get the deadly coronavirus. Oh, Bleep that out. Demonetize instantly. <laughs> Archie wants to jump down in there. Should I push him? <laughs> it's freezing cold here. And this is our last day in Queensland. We stayed in Queensland to watch the final game of the Origin. State of Origin footy match thing. So that's why we're still here. And then after that, we'll be in Northern Territory. Tomorrow, we'll be in Northern Territory. Tomorrow. 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 Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, good. First time I've been. Yeah. You've never been How there. about you? Have you been? Uh, I never drove there, but I did. <laughs> Look at the flies. I flew there. Isn't there. that cheating? Well, I'm going to do it the right way this time then. But yeah, we're going to go to a place called... Oh, we already said this, that we're going to the Devil's Marbles. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. All right. See ya. We changed our minds and decided to drive to the Northern Territory today. We are at the border now. Woohoo! Are we at the border? Yeah, here it is. I can read it now. Northern Territory. That's my